Guys, we're in Lisbon. <laughs> So you know how yesterday I was talking about my dad's obsession with buying food from the grocery store? You know there's cooking addicts, there's drug addicts, there's sex addicts, there's video game addicts. My dad is a grocery store addict, okay? He likes to buy a lot of food from the grocery store and then forces me to eat them because he doesn't want them to go to waste. He gets mad at me for not wanting to eat his canned soup. I was like, dad, that looks disgusting, okay? I just don't want to eat canned soup when I'm in Portugal. Well, guess what? Now we live in a guest house with a shared kitchen. Therefore, we are safe and sound in this city, okay? He's not gonna buy a bunch of food and then force me to eat it and then guilt trip me about it. Wow. Carfish cake, carfish. Oh. Come on? Yeah, so that's why I get tried to go and uh, let them go. I could have tried to. may not be in Canada getting to experience the actual fall vibes with the leaves changing and the temperature dropping but I can still have a little piece of fall with my pumpkin spice latte that's right I ordered a pumpkin spice latte in Portugal plus with you I don't even remember what a pumpkin spice latte even tastes like mm. yeah I understand the appeal but I don't know if it's worth all the hype. Also, it's really sugary. Muji, Muji. This is so unfair that somehow Lisboa has a Muji, but Montreal does not. My life mission is to open a Muji store in Montreal and manage it. That is now my goal, okay?
Ça, c'était vraiment bon. Oh my god, non, on va pas. Non, j'ai envie d'en manger, mais non, j'ai envie d'en manger plus. <rire> C'est tellement bon. Well, well, well. It's. I am filming this to remember this moment forever. First of all, I just want to say that starting off a trip with a walking tour is actually really great but just because you get like a really good sense of what the city is like, like a primer, a really fast primer on the city, but also like a crash course of every single landmark, or like the big landmarks of the city. I didn't places just because like the last place, there were so many like tourists passing by and I just felt like I was being leered on. I was being watched everywhere. As I was saying, okay? So I think that walking tour is like a really great way of starting a trip just because it gets you like to see all the landmarks in a really fast way. It's like a really fast introduction on the city and then afterwards, the next few days you can do whatever you want to do. Like you can just like look back on the landmarks that you've seen that you're interested in seeing again or you can just like visit more places. So I don't know, I just really like starting off a trip in a new city with a walking tour. Yesterday, I did not film anything because basically uh, me and my dad, we got kicked out of our hotel room for some reason. So basically what happened is that we were staying at this guest house. Basically, it was one room inside a really big apartment. We went there to stay there for like four nights. A lot of the things in that guest house was in ruins. The hot water was not working. The curtain could not close. So basically we had to sleep with like the window open with the sound of like the city very loud. We were hearing all of it when we were trying to sleep. It was a tough time like trying to sleep there, but we were like, you know, open to sort of bypass that. So my dad yesterday, two days ago, he tried to use the guest kitchen, the shared kitchen to boil some water and then afterwards the stove somehow exploded he told me that there was like a flash that happened like when he turned it on a flash happened and then afterwards the glass that was at the back of the stove exploded I mean, he was like confused he just like turned the stove on and somehow it like exploded one of the guests came into the kitchen whilst he was cleaning all the shattered pieces yesterday like i said hello to like the concierge who looked like pissed at me so i was like okay so what's the problem i didn't uh, really know about like the whole situation and then she told me that your father is essentially like is responsible for breaking the stove she was like you are responsible for this you pay for this or you're out and i was just like what we were having like not that great of a time and then of course we were like trying to bypass like all of like the little you know hiccups like her basically telling us that we were responsible for breaking the stove was like too much we had to like pack everything really fast and then leave uh the hotel room so that we could book into a new one i managed to find like one of the last few hotel rooms that were still available i actually worked at a hotel managing a hotel is very difficult and I understand that you want to save money, but at the same time, it's like so, like sometimes like these hotel managers can be so stingy about the money that they don't even like invest in like trying to upkeep all of the facilities, all the amenities. So then afterwards you, you touch something and then they break and then afterwards like your fault. Despite the fact that it's not your fault, it's just because you touched something that was at its end of its life. Like that's the thing with the, the stove. It was like, it was very much like in ruins. And then my father like turning it on, just like set it off.
best to like get one of those like shots of me aesthetically walking the streets of Lisbon. But each time I press record, I just want to laugh. I don't know why. I just have the biggest smile on my face and I keep like smiling and it looks unnatural. I try my best. I try my best to get the aesthetic shot. It just wasn't working. Okay, I guess I'm never going to be able to have that aesthetic lifestyle that I want. The pink street, you could actually skip it. Like pink street is just kind of overrated. Um, after like five seconds, it was like done and it's not that pretty. It smells kind of bad. And it feels like a lot of tourist traps around that area. But I actually do think that the green street is actually really interesting to like see and experience just because of all like greenery and all the plants that make it really beautiful. Weirdly enough, I kept like seeing articles and like TikToks and comments about how hard it is to walk around Lisbon. But I've been really lucky in that whenever I'm in front of a hill, I always have to like go down. I never like go up a hill. I seem to always walk down a hill, which is, I'm not gonna lie, satisfying as hell. Everyone keeps talking about how tiring walking around Lisbon is like, but for me, I didn't have that experience. Anyways, gotta drink my little latte, which is not sweet, unfortunately, but I'm still, you know, it's still nice. It's a nice, nice vibe around here.